Hey, what is up team? Brandon here from Go Headquarters bringing you the full breakdown of today's workout. So on the agenda today, we've got some upper body strength uh, plus an interesting Metcon with a little combination of movements. So let's get you guys moving on your warm up. To kick things off, we're gonna do three rounds of 15 jumping jacks, 10 glute bridges, and then 10 prone press. A little bit of a tongue twister, prone presses with a PVC. So jumping jacks, of course, we're gonna have everything down and together in that bottom position. And then when your feet spread out, your hands go up. So 15 jumping jacks, the straighter the arm, the better there guys for shoulder mobility. If your arm is bent, your shoulder's not moving a whole lot. So straight arms is nice. Glue bridges hit the deck. You are laying down on your back. So knees are about 90 degrees. You know, heels are approaching your butt a little bit. Then what we're gonna do is keeping your feet flat, we're gonna drive your hips and butt up into the air. So we wanna tuck your tailbone under and squeeze the heck out of your cheeks here at the top. So really clinch, hold for a second or two before coming back down. So that's your glute bridge. And then roll over to a prone position. We need your white bar for this. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take a wider than shoulder width grip on the bar. We're gonna bring this bar to your back rack position. So it's basically where the collar of my shirt is. I'm gonna have you guys uh, come up just a hair off the ground with your chest. Your legs can stay on the ground. Keep your head down, don't lift your head up. And then you're basically gonna press the bar about parallel to the floor. Okay, so full extension and then squeeze it down to that shirt collar. So that's gonna be your prone press. Now here's a little tidbit. If you don't have very mobile shoulders, you may want to go really wide with your grip. If you feel like you have pretty mobile shoulders, try to bring your grip in narrower and that will make that move more challenging. Um, so maybe you start wide and work your way in through the three rounds of 10. Okay, So three rounds, 15 jumping jacks, 10 glute bridges, and then 10 prone presses. I think I got it that time. All right, so next up guys, we're gonna get into a little strength. So we've got four rounds, 20 bench presses or floor press. Now that number is really high because I'm assuming a lot of you guys at home only have so much weight available to you. So we're just gonna go high reps. If you've got a ton of weight available and you wanna go heavier weight for lower reps, by all means guys, it's your workout. So 20 presses, and then we're gonna pair that with max reps of pull-ups. So I really want you to go to failure on the pull-ups, guys. Um, so instead of talking about the pull-up or demonstrating pull-ups today, though, I'm gonna give you guys alternatives to the pull-up if you don't have a pull-up bar. So first things first, bench press, or I'm gonna demo floor press. So if you've got a bench, guys, feel free to grab it. So I've got my trusty dumbbells here. These are just outside the chest. My arms do start on the ground, so make sure you know where that position is. So just outside the chest, and I'm going to press these up to full extension, and then control down to where you just tap your triceps and elbow back to the ground without suffering any uh, compression, right? So we don't want an impact on the ground. All right, so we're gonna do 20 of those, and then I'll head over to the pull-up bar to do max reps, pull-ups, and really go to failure. So in the absence of the pull-up bar, here are two options. You can do bent over row, or you can do a low band row. So for bent over row, I can use my dumbbells, feet are hip width, hinged over, nice and flat. I would do a neutral grip on these, or a close to a neutral grip, and then squeeze the weight towards your belly button as you squeeze your shoulder blades. So I'm keeping the weights close to me and squeezing the heck out of my back. Okay, so that's the bent over row option. Now, maybe I don't wanna do bent over row for whatever reason and I've got a band available. So here, we can loop this band around the feet twice. So my feet are tied together, that's nice and secure. We don't wanna end up in a gym fail video or band slaps you. Sit up nice and tall, again, neutral grip, so my palms are facing one another. And I'm gonna pull towards my belly button, just like the bent over row, and I'm squeezing the heck out of my shoulder blades. So whether I'm doing pull-ups, bent over row, or this low band row, I'm getting a pull to match my push. <laughs> Right, so I kind of believe in that balance in programming. So if I have you push 100 times, I basically want you to pull 100 times for the most part. All right, so again, four rounds, 20 bench presses or floor presses uh, paired with max reps pull-ups. And really go to failure on the pull-ups, guys. That number on pull-ups will decline as well, and that's okay. Just go to failure for all four sets. Next up, we go to four rounds for time. So, 
This is now a Metcon. You guys will want to warm up on this and feel this out a little bit before you start a timer. Um, but this one is for time, so this is meant to be metabolic conditioning. Four rounds for time. 20 reverse lunges to press. 15 double dumbbell swings. That's basically a kettlebell swing. And then 10 burpees. So let's knock out those movements. So I've got a pair of dumbbells here. For my lunge, I'm going to hold these at my shoulder position, like the front rack, and this is ready to press. I'm gonna demo this from the side. So I'm going to do a reverse lunge. So I'm gonna step back and down with my right leg, and when I come up, I'm gonna press. That's one rep. And then switch legs. Back and down with my left leg, come up and press, that's two. So you're just gonna to try to flow these together, similar to a thruster or a wall ball, where you're coming up from a squat and pressing or throwing, it's the same deal except with a lunge and pressing dumbbells. Okay, so 20 total, 10 per leg, but it is 20 presses, and that is actually the tougher part, at least for me. Then we're gonna do 15 double dumbbell swings. So ideally, ideally, you guys are gonna use the same dumbbells for this move as you did for the lunge. But if the weight's just way off, it's not heavy enough, it's too heavy, whatever, make adjustments. So I'm gonna hold these bad boys by the handles and I'm gonna let them swing through. And I'm gonna swing these up to about eye level with a flat back and a strong hip hinge and glute and leg drive. Okay, so that's gonna be my double dumbbell swing. Again, if that was too heavy, maybe I merge to a single dumbbell to deload that. That's cool too. And if you've got a kettlebell, you're, f you're free to use the kettlebell, of course. We're programming for dumbbells these days. Last move, guys, 10 burpees. So hit the deck, chest and thighs to the floor. When you pop up, hands come overhead at the top. So 10 of those, boom, round one is done. Let's start over for round two. So four rounds for time. I'm out of breath again, dang. It's hard to demo this stuff while talking. Four rounds for time, 20 reverse lunge to press. 10 double dumbbell swings, I'm sorry, 15 double dumbbell swings, and 10 burpees. So 20, 15, 10, 20, 15, 10, four rounds. And then that finishes up your Metcon. So the last thing we have to talk about today is the daily progression for the weeks, for this week's challenge. So again, we are trying to rack up a total of 500 push-ups, 750 air squats, and 15 minutes of front plank time. Today's numbers. This is assuming you did day one and day two. If you didn't do those, you need to go back and start at day one and then do day two and so on. Do not just start on day three, which is today. So today's goal, 100 push-ups, 150 air squats, and three minutes of front plank time. Once again, and I'm going to say this every day this week, the goal is to go as far into the set of each movement as possible. So I'm, I'm doing my 100 push-ups. I'm going to get all the way till I fail, basically. So I'm going to go all the way to, you know, 30 or whatever it is. And then once I've hit failure, now I'm going to partition the rest until I've done the 100 push-ups. Then I'll re repeat that process on the air squats and repeat that process on the front plank. So I think a lot of you guys are going to go a lot deeper into the front plank time than you may think. You just haven't tested that stuff. So really see what you can do on these front planks. Okay, try to really endure that and go as long as you can. Maybe in this case, you make all three minutes unbroken. Okay. Hopefully you guys enjoy those lunges with presses and the double dumb dumbbell, double, goodness gracious, double dumbbell swings, tongue twisters today. I didn't realize that programming it. So hopefully you had a good time. Hit it hard. Stay safe. We'll see you next time.